Hi friends, welcome to another session of VMware Professional Talking. Today I am going to show how to install a Red Hat Hypervisor on the nested VM using a VMware ESXi 5.1 environment. Today uh, I am going to show how to install a Rev Hypervisor as a part one. In my future videos, I will show how to install Red Hat Management Server. Okay, uh, as I said, uh, today a uh, part one will be a Rev H installation on the VMware ESXi 5.1. So I'm going to log in the, into the so I'm going to use a web GUI for that. So installation since the VMware is uh, moving towards the web consoles from the traditional uh, display client. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So go to hosting clusters. And expand your uh, data center. So go to your uh, cluster. I'm going to use here uh, my OpenStack cluster. Okay, uh, select new virtual machine. Click next. I'm going to name this new virtual machine as Rev03. And choose your uh, data store as you wish. So here you can see there is a uh, compatibility versions. So if you are creating VM version now, it will be compatible with ESX 5.1 and later. So if you are having the water version of uh, hypervisors in your environment, uh, use the VM version 8. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, choose your. Uh, Guest to OS family, I'm going to choose others and version as other 64 bit. I'm going to give the name as Red Hat Hyperlace. Okay, for this way, I'm going to do a 2 VCPU and then a GP RAM and then 16 GP of hard disk space. I'm going to connect it with the lab network. Also, I'm going to add additional network cards for this uh, hypervisor. Before you move further, uh, we have to change our SCSI controller. So if you are if you are not changing the controller after the installation, you will get a kernel panic error in the VM. So I'm going to use uh, LSE logic SAS for this VM. Click next uh, once you change the logic groups. Ok, 
Okay, once you're ready, click finish. So now we are ready for the data type processor installation. Okay, before we power on the PM, uh, we just want to map the IOS of the, the hypervisor to the VM. So I'm going to do it right now. I already uploaded the IOS into my local drive. I'm going to power on the VM. Okay, uh, in my lab I have some network issue, so I'm going to use the traditional VI client for the console. Once you log into the console, you can see the screen like this. This is a known uh, bug in the Red Hat hypervisor. So to uh, get the real screen, we have to do some uh, edit in the bootloader. So I'm going to shut down this VM and then uh, power it on again. Okay, once you got the screen, uh, use your uh, arrow and then get into the screen. Now press tab to change the edit mode. Okay, once you the blue screen, go to the uh, line that states as an axe loop and quit and uh, remove those lines from the installation. Once you remove that press enter to boot further. So once you uh, boot you can see the installation progress the console. Once you got this screen, uh, press enter to install. Uh, if you have noted this, there is an info states that no resolution hardware has been detected on this system. 
uh, once the installation completes i will show how to get the get the vm into the virtualization configuration So now I'm going to close it. Okay, I'm using a US keyboard, so I'm not going to change anything. I'm proceeding to the next file. Please select your uh, hypervisor password. Okay, you may get an uh, error says like a weak password. So use uh, upper lowercase and numerics to ignore this alert. Uh, this is a uh, 200 uh, MB of hypervisor, so it won't take much time for the installation. Once the installation complete, the reboot will appear into black. So now press enter to reboot the server. I'm going to shut down this VM to do some tricks into the virtual machine. So let us move to our tradition web client. Right click and uh, edit the virtual machine. Expand the CPU. Then uh, go to the hardware virtualization and enable that by checking the set box. If you haven't do this step, uh, once the VM is rebooted, you may get an alert that says like no virtualization hardware has been found in the machine. So if you that if you get that error. You may now be able to run a 64 bit virtual machine on this nested view. That's the entire it will come to the admin screen. That's how we have installed the data type eraser on the VS Explorer as invested VM. In the next video, I will show how to configure a data type eraser with a data management server. Thanks for watching.